Yes, sir. Welcome back to another episode of the Trapper Dive Podcast provided to you by 214 Media and SB Nation's Hall of Saving. I am your host, Molly Mo, Hendo Mo, Coach Mo, all that good stuff, man. And here with the fellas, whole gang in here, man. Rick, Nick, Rye, fellas. What? My man, Nick, with the imaginary gun. How y'all doing, bro? Y'all straight? Hey, what's y'all good, straight? man? Can y'all hear me? I just put my headphones in. Yeah, I'm on I my uh, on my John Morant, bro. On your John Morant? Yeah, hey, bro. <laughs> hey, nah, bro. Hey, bro. Got his ass, got his ass booted, boy. And got Dylan Brooks, uh, get Dylan Brooks the boot. They said that was a lotto, bro. I mean, he he might not be coming back to show. What, what, wait, what part is a lie? They said the, whoever put the under any circumstances, they was like, oh, wow. so sham. They saying sham like. Yeah. Hold on, wait. Who's saying? Who's saying the team is? They put the out agent, something. His agent. Okay. Came up All right. Okay. I'm about to say, I ain't know who the hell was talking about that. Okay. Or well, I mean, they didn't tell his agent that he ain't coming back. Never know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He might think he's like, "Oh, he ain't told me that." Oops, nah, hey, 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 but it told, that boy Dylan probably told his agent. Yeah, man, they told me that shit. They they told me. Um, everything straight though. Y'all good, bro? Oh yeah, man. Big thirty. You know what I'm saying? That was backwards. Big thirty. Uh, happy happy B day to the boy Nick. Um, fellas went out the AT. Fellas went out the ATL for a weekend, man. And uh, I guess for me, I'm gonna just say it's the reason why I said I ain't. I, I took the whole week off. I ain't do no. Oh, almost got myself in trouble. I ain't do no. I ain't do no drinking this week. I ain't do. <laughs> <laughs> I took the week off, player. I said, nah, not not this week, bro. I need to, I need to decompress, <laughs> bro. I don't know how y'all felt. It looked like Rock pouring up right now. <laughs> I haven't had one of them days, fool. So, bro, what the hell you bro? had going on, bro? I'm not, bro. We'll talk later, bro. A lot. I already know what that means. Um, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but nah, bro. Hey, Ma, I feel you, bro. Um, so do you try and drink tomorrow? I was like, oh, yeah, I might be. Oh, no, I, we, all the my week is over today. Yeah, I'm, oh. <laughs> I'm, I might be back tomorrow, <laughs> but go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Nah, bro. After this weekend, bro, um, I was out there busted, <laughs> like, especially after Saturday, bro. First thing, I didn't want to drink on Sunday. That's I don't know, bro. I, was I like, can bro, tell you, I couldn't you avoid it. I couldn't I, avoid it. The, the, the drinks kept coming. And it's I your birthday. You can't <laughs> walk it. I'm like, bro. Hey, is it? Take a shot. Take... Why you not drinking? It's your birthday. I'm like, shorty, damn. You don't have that. Them the rules, bro. It's your birthday. You got to drink. But after Saturday night, bro, I was like, come on, bro. I I stay my one. Look at liquor. Bro, I was like, I know. know us. Make sure we took our flight back Monday instead of Sunday so we can go to Rum Punch Brunch. Hey. Great oh, time. You did. Great time. I, I still I still was busting the run punch. I just wasn't as busted as the night before. Yeah. I about to say in hindsight, I would have been the one that wouldn't be able to make run, it. Run punch. Run punch. punch. I was done. Hey, Rick, 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 Rick told me in the middle of John. It's probably like two hours and he's like, hey, bro. The lights were down. He's like, hey, bro. Yeah, he told night. me that too. Well, let me drink nothing else. I was like, <laughs> how many more drinks he had after that? He bro, walked up. He walked I can't up. call he it because Rick cares. Rick walked off oh. with Jimmy. That's what, and, all right. I'm gonna say, yeah, you ain't had no more drinks. I mean, you had more drinks. You had like you 30 more. Yeah. No, nah, yeah, I had, like, I had like three more shots, bro. So, bro, gonna say that and, and kept drinking. <laughs> yeah, 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 don't let me do nothing, bro. But I can't. My lawyer, my lawyer, to my lawyer told me I can't talk about it because, uh, you know, yeah. You got NDA. 
what I'm saying? And they say, they say I can't talk about it, you know, because, you know, Capital One is, you know, I say they got an investigation going on right now, you know. <laughs> yeah. I must, I mean, well, yeah, you ain't got to worry about that because all we had was the drinks from the the, the, the section. Yeah, yeah. Hey. My, my wallet, my wallet got, uh, my wallet got, my wallet fell on the ground and my Capital One card <laughs> I got picked up by somebody. Uh... Hey, no, nah, for sure. That must have been a, that must have been a bail at the bar, boys. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they got me Nick, one, man. Two, seven times. That, you know that was me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Nick, I'm glad you had a good B day, bro. You know what I'm saying? You had two weeks, man. You went to Philly the week before, went to mm-hmm. ATL last weekend, bro. So you had yourself a good little time, bro. Yeah, man. Now I'm back. You know what I'm saying? We got some games this weekend. I love the man. Waffle House. Shout out the Waffle House. Shout out the Waffle House. Yeah, especially at last night. I needed that. <laughs> oh, no, bro. Our, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, as soon as Mark got out the car, he walked around the corner. I said, How did it look? Because I just thought I, I thought I, I just got out. Maul, 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 just, Maul, just, Maul just, Maul just, I, look, I thought like, I felt like the Undertaker. You woke up nah. like the Undertaker. And you, you, know, walk, you know, you like, know what Rick said? That's the fastest you ever ran the other week during the game? No, sir. Yeah, you got up the car, all dash around the corner. I was like, bro, Ma, it's he so he was yeah. walking, he was walking fast, but he was walking. No, nah, he it was definitely a stride. He definitely had a stride. Oh, well, better better did in the car. And then he yeah. walked back, he walked back like he ain't do nothing. Like he no what, boy, I, yeah. I, I this thought he had they got the thing. steak omelets. They got the steak omelets. This is <laughs> then, the, then the Gamal said, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I know y'all ordered already, bro, but I ain't know we was at Waffle House. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Rick said he had a whole conversation with I'm me. Like, I'm like, Ma, I've been pressing you out in the back seat the whole time. About, all right, Ma, I'm not saying it no more. We at Waffle House, bro. And you're like, I'm good, bro. I'm like, all right, bro. You good? Yeah, yeah, you can read it up. All right, bro. Ryan, right, you order something? I already have food back at the house. What night was that? Yeah, me and Nick ordered. What did you have? You, ain't, you had I, the chicken? I had the, the shrimp from, oh, from my house. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, well, um, shout out to Run Punch, man. Uh I'm back as soon as they get a different DJ. Uh yeah. I'm no, I'm I think back. it was just uh, I think there was just something going on that night where they had the Jamaican DJ out there. That's all I said. Yeah, they got a different yeah. DJ. I'm back. I, I don't have now I don't yeah. have no issue. Like I, told you, I, don't, I don't have no issue with no shocker, yeah, yeah. no reggae, no yeah, uh but I need I need vibes, bro. And my vibes is like like ten percent of that music. That's all I need. Ten percent. I could mix it. Right. I, 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 I could do ten percent. That's, all, it, that's it, all I'm saying. Because it definitely would have been up. That's ninety percent. Sunday was ninety percent. That was ninety percent soccer and rig. I can't do oh, it. And then I, there, I, I, probably, I, I probably, I probably would, I probably would have been drunk faster than I was. I probably <laughs> been drunk. So like I wouldn't even enjoy it. <laughs> hey, <bro. laughs> I wouldn't even enjoy it. Bro. Uh, but nah, it was, it was definitely, it was definitely, it was a, it was a good, it was a good little scene though for sure, hundred percent. Um, okay. Uh, wait, we got well, we'll figure that out on the back end. Um, but on the show today, you know what time it is, man. It's the blind five stuff we see on social media, or as I say, the shit we see on social media. We're gonna catch it with Dallas and Tennessee's weekend. Um, it's crazy though. The weekend was from from a sports perspective, we missed the XFL playoffs. Um, uh, we semi missed the draft for real. Like we was there, but we wasn't there. Mm-hmm. And then Steph Curry put up 50 to close out the Memphis Grizzlies, bro. 50 of them, thanks. I was watching, but I really... When I say the Memphis Grizzlies, I didn't mean to say that. Not the Grizzlies. It's crazy because uh, Ty, Ty and um, Orlando was trying to bet. They was trying to bet that... Uh, King. That was, I, think it was, I think it was halftime that Kings was going to win. Mm-hmm. I should have took that goddamn bet. What was they? What was they was hundred dollars. Everybody's gonna bet hundred. Rob oh. was gonna bet a hundred. Orlando was gonna bet a hundred. So was gonna oh, y'all was seriously about to bet. I was yeah. gonna bet. I was thinking about it, but I was like, uh... you was gonna bet at Rob bet, wasn't you, Rick? You was gonna take? Huh? You was gonna bet at Rob bet? I was. No, 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 no. They were betting bet. against me. They were betting me. All of them were betting me. All of them had the oh, Kings. Oh, you, Rob, you thought the oh, oh, I thought you had go to state. That's why he was I like, yeah, like Kings. Say. But I'm, but at this, at that time, I'm like, nigga, shit. I had the Kings. The Kings been the Kings been uh, the Kings. You would have came up three hundred, bro. I came up three hundred, bro. But you would have been down. That, the scary. I would have been, been down, down three. Yeah. I'd have been down three. I would have took that. <laughs> hey, look, when, I can't afford that. What? Hey, bro, I'm going back in the crib. I, <laughs> I can't afford that, bro. I'm gonna stay in the house, bro. Hey, y'all. Hey, Ryan, let me get your leftovers, bro. 
I wouldn't even made you pay me, bro. <laughs> uh, I'm like, nah, bro, you go hold on to that. They they gonna want their money. I'm gonna let you know right now. They, they gonna yeah, they gonna ban. They gonna want that two hundred. I hear my cash out, you know cause <laughs> you got Zell. If you got Zell, that's two. You send that too. You said what? Your last name Briggs. <laughs> oh, I found you. Don't even worry about it. Found <laughs> you. Oh man. Okay. Okay. So last one, one thing, and then we'll get into our, our our first our first segment. Um, who we got tonight, man? So for those who don't know, we're recording on Thursday. Lakers, Warriors tonight. But but who we who we got, bro? Oh, I already know where I got I, Rick. Rick and Nick. Oh, Nick. Nick a Laker fan too. Rick, who you got? Man, I think. Uh... I think I might, man. I think Golden State gonna get this one. First game was tough. First game was real tough. Um, Here's what I'm saying about the game. Let me let go. Yeah, I feel like Golden State really tried their best last night, and I feel like every time they came down, the, the game was tight the whole time. But mm-hmm. watching it, you could just tell the whole time Golden State was playing catch up. You know what I'm saying? Like I felt like. Oh, like okay, go ahead. You know what I mean? It's, it's every time they they got it close, it just seemed like it wasn't enough. You know what I'm saying? But to you, I'm not mad at you picking the Warriors. I mean, they they probably could get one, but for the series though, I think they I think they need, think they need to see you, one. So, right, they you saying you one. essentially saying like you felt you felt that uh, the Warriors were the team that was less composed in a sense of like they were they were climate. They felt like they had they need to be more uh, urgent and like I their level. I'm not of even play. gonna say they they were less composed. I just feel like. They were playing their brand of basketball like they normally do. Oh, it just wasn't good enough. It just, it just, it just wasn't enough. What are talking about? Game one? Well, well the good thing was yeah. like that. Over with. Hey, but how many – are we going to see that? Like, now, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but from, from what I understand, and, and, and like, I'm not a – when it comes to playoffs, it is, I, I watch the ball, but, like, stat-wise, like, you got to really pop out for me to really care – but I know for I know for for what it's worth, AD he come and go. Like you know how yeah you know how great of a talent he is, but he come and go. So like that if we can get AD thing is is a it's a very solid solid point. But it's like I can't say I can't say if because like you know he's gonna have some games where it's like bro where were you? That's true. Yeah. So he he about every other game. You know what I'm saying. So tonight is his part of his fall through game. But I ain't gonna hold you. That happened versus Memphis. And that James Harden joke yesterday, last night. The way but he- I, I called that though. I was talking to my man John. I, I knew James wasn't about to come out and do that again, bro. And <laughs> they only needed, to be fair, they only needed one in in in, in Boston. Like they had they, to, they one got, of the two. Yeah, but they, they played like I saw they wanted to. Game two, we got our dub. <laughs> we ain't like yeah, they, see, see we back in the finish out game two. Yeah, we just out here playing today. But what I, you gonna say, Nick? Though. Um, this is this is usually Anthony Davis's sorry game, but granted, he was doing that versus Jaron Jackson Jr. every night, and Looney is nowhere near the defender of Cuz. And I ain't gonna hold you, Looney was getting cooked, cooked. off cooked. the dribble, two dribbles, bang. bang. The, the plus Peace about the Lakers, thing. the Lakers just have a bench, bro. Like they they can interchange so many. Even though even though their roster for the playoffs is really like an eight man rotation for real for the most part, but they can go to their bench and, and depend on them versus the people who come off their bench. Already, all, all you're thinking about is Jordan Poole and maybe Jermichael Green. But other than that, anybody really come off the bench, really, you worried about DiVincenzo, maybe, but like, nah. <laughs> like, the starters, Steph is really it's going like, to it's be like Steph, on Jordan, not, and, and, and Steph Clay, they gotta come. They gotta cut all three of them, bro. It's, I think it's, it's gonna take all three of them. If all three of them on, bro, it's a problem for the Lakers. No, nah, you wanna know what the problem is? If bro? All three of them on, bro. That's I don't the know, problem bro. For the Lakers, bro. Can't nobody no, in the Warriors they play defense except there, for right? Draymond. Huh? Lakers out there running them boys off them picks. They ain't playing too. Oh, no, they, they are. They well, are. they made. <laughs> oh. nah, my bad. I was gonna say. I mean, game one and, and game two are all about adjustments too. So, like, That's what I, you true? What, I'm not. I, what you see is what you get right now. But I, I wonder how the how the, the Warriors gonna adjust because. Um, it's a different like when when well Rick said when when Steph and 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 uh Clay are on point and even with Jordan Poole like Jordan Poole biggest thing I, I guess the reason why he was even pissed off towards the end of the, the Memphis series I keep saying the Memphis series the, the King series is because he wasn't on point for as a shoot from a shooting perspective like right. if if they can all get their stuff together like 
those are some of the Steph and Clay. Those are some of the elite shooters in in NBA history. Like you're not like if they on, if it, if that's they literally on. that's literally the difference maker. Like, uh, but you know what's crazy? All the of them, had, all of them had like twenty something. They and they dropped all of them had like six threes a piece. Yeah, and sure. granted, it's hard to. I mean, I ain't gonna say it's hard to do that again, but pool inconsistent, clay inconsistent. You don't. They might not get that tonight. So it's like, who yeah. gonna step up? So that's um, true. They played it. The Angles, they played a great game. I mean, they was Ross down it. three. But boy, this gonna be the best game. This gonna be the best. This is be the best game of the. Uh, and they not good on the road. Was, imagine so. if the Lakers blow them out, bro. <laughs> it's not, I ain't gonna lie, it's possible. I wouldn't be surprised, bro. I'm trying to tell you, bro. It's possible. You can't play your best game, still lose, and then come out and think like, "Oh, this." They played yeah. good, bro. Jordan Poole had like what? Twenty three. Yeah, twenty. Yeah, he had like twenty three. Clay had like twenty three. Six threes. All right, what's up? <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna I, I said that too. I just said all of them. You said what? You said all of his sixth threes? Yeah, all of yeah. all of his sixth threes. Too? Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. I don't know if they can all you you can't get that back. Oh, bro. I ain't know all of them hit six. I mean, if somebody's gonna get it back, it's gonna be the Warriors. All of them hit six, they still all of them hit six threes, bro. Hey, all bro. of them lost. Bro, they might have to hit eight. Well, they, they not nah, all hit eight. Steph is gonna Clay, have to average forty, bro. That's all it is, bro. Steph is gonna have to average forty. Clay not finna hit six threes. That's it. They not gonna let Steph average forty. Clay need to come out and hit thirty, bro. Somebody I just think Steph, defensively bro. the Warriors Clay don't got 30. it, bro. They can't. Nobody on that team would check anybody, bro. And Wiggins they and also you tripping because Ross say Ross said it though, but they they oh, also undersized, bro. Like compared to the Lakers, like they just undersized, bro. Yeah, that part. Bron and AD some goddamn giants compared to. The- but they was quiet Van- everything Van- last night. Yeah, from, you uh, guys like, still got Vando. Block party. Everything was getting swatted. You betting on the game tonight, bro? I ain't betting on game two. Mm-hmm. Look, he's trying to dig in. He, he got the Warriors night. I know Rick got it. <laughs> I, I, I thought it was serious, though. I ain't betting on the game. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you got action, Rick. What's up? Lakers in five. He said he bet on the series. Lakers, Lakers in five, Nick. I'm going to say Lakers in five. <laughs> Lakers at six. Yeah. Yeah, he messed around winning night. Bro, I'm gonna tell you oh, right now. If the, if the if the Lakers win the night, the Warriors <laughs> taking the next two. So it's gonna go game seven. The LA? Come on, bro. Warriors can't even go win on the road, bro. The Warriors who, who, who at home. Team. I'm tripping. Huh? Go bro, if they home. if they if they go down. They both yellow. If they if they go down, bro, they winning the next two. No, they're not. Same, they ain't even went two back to back road games in the in the season, bro. Hey, bro, you talking about champions, bro? Champions move different. You can't predict right. who they are, what they gonna be. Not right. the champions this year, You're right, bro? <laughs> hey, y'all, did, did y'all see uh, Rusty and Pac Bev talking about? Uh, they, they won their rings. They won a ring. All say mine, bro. <laughs> they won a ring. I ain't see it. But Rusty, technically, don't you gotta you gotta have a certain for like you can win a ring and not be on the team. Like if you meet a certain, you gotta play a certain. That's what you, you gotta play until a certain is, point. Why would you want that ring? Because the Lakers were below five hundred when they traded y'all. I don't give a damn. You want that ring? I'm gonna sell it, you, bro. You what if I never? Scrub, what if I never win a ring? What if I never win a ring, bro? This is close. You got that one little one. This is close. You won bro. You put in the work. Keep that junk, bro. I'm gonna just do it. You put the work. Yeah, you hear me? No, yeah. When we was at our worst, when we was at our worst, I was there. Yeah, I was shooting with you in the gym. When that got better though. I was about it there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> my coach said, said my coach said he wanted me. He just had to, it was a financial the money. It was, the, it was money, he bro. Just, it was money, bro. Just, they said Boogie got uh-huh. ring. And Who? when uh Boogie. Yeah, I, I promise you don't tell people that. I, hey. He probably don't. I got it. Nah, I, I, hey, not that many people get it, bro. Small, bro, small Boogie percentage used to of be NBA a players. Dog. Boogie used to be a dog, bro. You know, he oh. said he right now, he, he said right now he's the third best in the league. He do that Showtime show, don't he? Uh no, he was on he was on some show with KG. KG got his own show, and I think he was a guest. Oh, um, yeah, you know, I, saw, I remember I dog see dog I saw I, I remember seeing him on Showtime with Paul Pierce, but it's, it's KG like, show though. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll show you today. All right, bet that is Showtime. Okay. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get into uh the favorite portion of the show. Um, you know what I think about it, right? Because uh. Yeah, right. I was about to, I was literally about to do the same thing, but I don't, I think we switching it up today, according to Nick. Yeah, but for the sake of theatrics, because I am a theatrical guy, 
I still can't see. I'm prepared. I'm prepared. Do I got an echo? You know, I'm on a different floor today. Bro, no, bro. All right, just want to make sure, bro. I heard one when I said something, so I want to make sure. No that man, Rick over there looking like a uh, hollow man. <laughs> That's exactly what he looked like. <laughs> <laughs> Just look, look like a Dallas mascot, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me you own a squad. Oh, man. Yeah, no, it's if y'all are waiting to hear it, yeah, it is not blind fire, but not um, blind fire. We're gonna we're gonna honor the segment and 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 have our have our have our shades on and have our have our stuff going on. So let's go ahead and get right into it, man. Nick, introduce us to what the hell we got going on today. Well, let me tell you something, Jamal. Today we got, uh, I'm going to call it, it's called the Silent War Room. Um, Basically, it's a 2v2 draft. It's going to be me and Rick, since that's what's on the uh, jump, versus you and Ryan. And we're going to pick six people that play the position of wide receiver. And we can't talk about, currently we can't in the talk league. currently in the league right now. We can't talk about our picks to our so um, basically, our personal war room. My fault. I'm let you explain before I ask. Yeah. yeah. So two v two. Can't tell you. Can't talk to your person about who you want to draft or who you's up next. If you forget somebody, you forget them. It just sucks to be you. Um, and we're gonna so find go out one who, at a time. Yeah. So uh, we can go in order. And he pick what 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 where he feel like he go on the list. The person. No, no, no. It don't. It don't matter. It just you can just pick. So say I pick. Uh, I'm not gonna say it, but I pick a receiver. Maul pick a receiver. Rick pick a receiver. You pick a receiver, and uh, go back to me. I thought you. I thought you were saying we pick a person and you put them on the list, where, and then the next person go figure out. Nah, what it don't matter what they on the list. It just matters you got them on your on your team. You feel me? Yeah. Do right, we? So, so we're gonna do a draft like type of theme. Um, I'm asking. We don't have to do it this way, but should we kind of break break up the receivers by position, like X X Z slot? Nah, bro. It it's, just, it's, just, it's just your best receivers. Best receivers. Don't yeah. even. Okay. We have to put together a nice little list, brother. Okay. Hey, Snick Snack, you already know what this is, bro. Come on, brother. I does this. All right. So, um, let's go ahead and, and start off with the 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 road team. Uh, since Nick came up with this, bro, right? mm-hmm. and, and me are gonna go first. Mm-hmm. So, oh, bro, oh, we, oh, oh, bro, oh, bro. You heard that, man, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. This is Nick's, Nick, 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 go there, Nick. Hold on, bro. We're going to rock, paper, scissors, this. Gonna, why oh, yeah, we gonna rock paper, scissors, this. All right, yeah, we'll ride a captain. Yeah, ride a captain. Come on, right? So, so oh, Ryan, Nick, go ahead. Oh, Ryan, well, I can't, we can barely see his hand. He could be cheating. Bro, yeah. come on, bro. Hey, hey, No, I'm talking about, I'm talking about Rick. Hold up, bro. You do rock, paper, scissors, shoot, or you do rock, paper, scissors, bro? I don't know how y'all did it back then. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot, fool. Come on, bro. All right. Now we can all see right, your hands. Who, who doing it for? Y'all got to, both it's, y'all it's got me, to. It's me. It's me. It's me and me and, right. me and Ryan. Let's go. All right. Rock, paper, Come on, bro. <laughs> we don't go. What are you rock, 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 for? Hey, look. Hey, look. Cool, the cadence, no, wait a I was trying the to say that. Rock, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. By the right, same way, Rick. Rick need to be doing this. Kick Nick. Come on, bro. ain't no captain. Ready? Rock, paper, rock, scissors, paper shoot. scissors, shoot. Nah, bro, okay. it's too late, rock, bro. Paper, it's not scissors, too late, bro. You did wait, bro. That's one. You did wait, bro. You did wait, bro. Bro, you did wait, bro. What you saw is what? You saw is what? Y'all are wild. What are you talking about? I don't wait on what? nothing. Oh. Hey, Ryan, Ryan Rick, bro. Ryan Rick. Ryan Rick. We yeah, y'all go ahead, bro. What are you talking about? Keep on. Ready? Rick, you got it. Oh, Rick. Hey, I'm going to say it. I'm gonna say rock paper scissors shoot, bro. Okay, go ahead. Rock, rock paper scissors shoot. Oh, Rick, still saying. going, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. Why are we going? Just give us, bro. just give us the go, bro. What's right, up? Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, hey, bro. We, we gonna, you already gonna lost. Win. We still going. So we, so it's 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 our side, then your side in terms of like one player, one player, yeah, one yeah, player. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. all right, uh, right. Go ahead. You go to you get the first stab at it. Jay Jettles. Okay. Go ahead, Rick. Hey, Jay. I go, I go. Devontae Adam. Yeah. Okay, so I'll go next. I'm going to go. Uh, um, I don't have to draw a blank on his goddamn name, bro. Cincinnati receiver. Um, 
Chase. Oh, you can't say that, bro. He said since that. I just said since. You can't even talk about T. Higgins, bro. He ain't talking about T. Higgins, bro. No, that is true, bro. He could have been talking about T. Higgins, bro. He could have been talking about T. Higgins, bro. Hey, Mom, mute him, bro. Jamar Chase, bro. Somebody steal him. Dang, bro. You doing too much, man. All right. Devontae Adams for Nick. Uh, Rick, you up? Who you got? I think I'm going to go with that boy from Philly, man. I think I'm going to go with AJ. AJ Brown. Okay. Phoenix. Phoenix. Okay. Nick, you didn't like that, Nick? It's silent, bro. You good. (laughs) He ain't like that. Nick ain't like that. (laughs) Oh, you got, bro. Cooper Cup. Loser. Loser. I'm going to go ahead and go to Rick Hill. The Cheeto. There it go. Yo. Yeah, Nick, we lost. (laughs) (laughs) Man, we're Cooper Cup. That's too soon, buddy. Cooper. Man, my man just had a triple crown, bro. What's I talking about? Without injury, bro. My man still like that. He Sorry, bro. You'll be okay. Um, so I just went coop uh to Rick. So I think what Rick is yeah, Rick you up. Uh give me Waddle. Mm-hmm. Like All that. Right. DK. Come on, Nick. You know who to get, bro. I fucking hate DK, bro. You about to, <laughs> <laughs> you about to mess it up again, bro. Go ahead. Nah, like Nick know who to get. I'm Nick know who to get. I feel like I'm Nick messing up, bro. Hold up, bro. I'm in the, I'm in the room, bro. Hold up. He got to talk to him. Got to talk to him. You got 20 Nick, seconds, bro. Nick know who to get, bro. I don't even got to say his name. What number we on, Mom? Hey, you think you slick, Rick? I know huh? what Rick was doing, bro. <laughs> I know Rick what Rick was doing, bro. Game over, bro. Rick over there. Nah, I, my phone up. My phone. Yeah, bro. Nah, I just Rick said, no. on the phone. Nah, nah. Rick over huh? there. Rick over there showing his he hat. Said, what? That's what he's doing, bro. Nah, bro. D hop. Come on. It gotta be a penalty for people cheating, bro. He said D hop. Okay. So, um, that means oh, that's you just went DK. Oh, it's on me. All right, bet. All right, so I'm gonna go Terry McClellan. Herb McClellan, you suck. You know the best team on this team. Herb McClellan, you suck. <laughs> oh, you suck. All right, who is on? It's on Rick. Rick. So is this the six, or is it? Or we have six this, by this, this. This is six. It should be six. So then, oh, okay. We so it was three and three. Yeah. Well, we won automatically because you got Cooper Cup in your list. So who your well, last I'm- one, Rick? Uh, give me. I'm trying to think. Should I take uh, CD or Armor? Did y'all say Armor already? Who? <laughs> Armor St. Brown. St. Brown. Fourteen. <laughs> Put St. Brown on the list, bro. Please, bro. No, no, no. I was saying that. No, I was saying I was thinking saying the list, CD. Bro. No, I'm about to get y'all CD. Say Let, me get, Let me get CD. Bro, you ain't. How you? How you put? How you think of Armor before Mike Evans? Hey, I forgot bro, about Mike. Debo Samuel, Mike, Mike Evans. Nigga, he went straight to St. Brown. That's why I didn't. I didn't put him on the list. Though. I said he was. He was long. Hey, down. hold up, bro. Time up. First up. First up. First up. We not about to come over here and disrespect Wilson. Cooper Cup. Garrett better than Armwa. Nah. nah, I'm not disrespecting Cooper Cup, but we talking about top six. Um, that nigga was just a top five receiver. Who's this? I think Cooper, Cooper Cup. Cup. I think you know what? I think that's fair. Um, but I also nah, think that no fair. Bro. Also think that he had top ten, in a sense. I don't know. It's a little. It's a little tricky with receivers. We just named twelve receivers. Statistically, like he was the Rams' offense, and that's kind of where I'm like, that's that don't mean like you looking at. That's what I'm saying. Like stats, stats can like Julio Jones at one point, like 2017 or 2018, he gets hurt. Julio Jones, can't but was he not a top? Man. Was he not a top five receiver? Like, is Cooper Cup top five or not, bro? I just want to hear that. I'm about. Top five right now? Yeah. No. He is he tight? It's tight. He might. He might. <laughs> he ain't top five. No. But who who top? Who your top five receivers, bro? Y'all about to disrespect this boy? I'm just not about to disrespect Cool. What? My man got hurt and still probably put up a stack and some chains, bro. I'm gonna go top three. He ain't make it that far. Yeah, he might be five. Respectfully, because you got to go, Jay Jettas. You got to go. You got to go both LSU boys. 
Devontae go, Adams. Devontae, you got to go to Diggs. 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 He ain't five. I don't think, but I also don't think Diggs is top five. I will, I don't even know if I put Tyreek. You, First think, dog, you got, Tyreek, you got be, Tyreek Hill. Diggs top two. I don't know. I don't yeah, I got you got uh, you got Tyreek Hill over uh, over Coop right now. Uh, I don't know if I'm taking Tyreek Hill over Coop. Oh no, and I, I I'm not mad at that though. Hill Hill. I think cool, I think bro, that's why he getting that five. I don't think Tyreek Hill really really went out there with Tua and put up eighteen. No, he did not. I ain't think he was going Pat Mahomes. No, nah, I did that yeah. shit. He a dog. It's definitely certified dog. And did it, and what you call it? Did with Matt Stafford? Hey, Cooper put up. Ass, Cooper put Cup up. Got uh, ranked too. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. Cooper got ranked too. You said what? I mean, Cup. Cup. Dude I got said ranked Cup too. put up eight hundred in in nine games. That's pretty he good. Was on his, he was on his yeah. way though, bro. He actually had the team of receiving in nine games. Like Come on, bro. he was on. He was their only offense. Come on, bro. It's pretty Who was his quarterback? Um, everybody. Cuz, cuz from U, uh, UPS. Oh no, it was Stafford. Yeah. They they went out the same time. Uh, Stafford knew it was the buzz. Man, shit. He was like, yeah. They All right. Uh, well, we're gonna let the people judge then. So for the full list, yeah, go me and Ryan have Justin Jefferson, Stephon Diggs, DK Metcalf, Jamal Chase, Tariq Hill, and Terry McLaurin. Crazy, the That's F5, crazy. and Rick and Nick has AJ Brown, Jalen Waddle. Sutter, Devontae Adams, Cooper Cup, and D Hop. He said Sutter threw me off. <laughs> I said Sutter. How you don't know your own receivers, bro? Nah, uh, come on now. You don't know Sutter, bro? Come on, bro. Sutter, we had we had Devontae. Devontae. Yeah. AJ Brown. AJ Brown. C Hop. D Hop. Charlotte. C D. You know, we got a little y'all got the big body receivers, and we got a little. We got a little finesse game on our side. Yeah, I got them little little boys. DK, yeah, DK the niggas. only one. We Mossy niggas. The only nigga gonna get open over there is Tyreek. I was he was better than y'all though. Well, not bro. Yeah. All I'm I, 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 I bet on it. No, you will. I think all our yeah, guys run sub four four. Okay, but bad quarterbacks right into the bench. It Three don't matter. Out. We talking about receivers. We ain't talking about Three who out. Games. We, we could put Aaron Rodgers back there. Three and I think he's going to produce better. Aaron Rodgers sucked, Whatever, too. Man. All right, bro. It's time to move on. <laughs> <laughs> time to move on. Um, Okay. <clears throat> Fellas, that was... What do, what do you call it again? The Silent War Room? Yeah, Silent War Room. The Silent War Room. Okay, cool. Um, Before we get into the draft, uh, let's go ahead and get into... um. Some other things, some random miscellaneous things that we see on social media, the shit we see on social media. Let's start with the top. Antonio Bryant. Bro, I said Antonio Bryant. Antonio Brown, bro. Um, y'all remember Antonio Bryant? He was cool. Of course. Why was he yeah. with Dallas? Mm-hmm. You already Bucks. know. Um, but yeah, A B, bro. Uh he's the owner of that the AFL team that his father played on. Um, let me go ahead and pull up everything right now. Uh, but from TMZ, uh, let's see if he has the name of the the team. So I didn't forget. This. Oh, yeah, Albany man. Empire. There it is, the Albany Empire. So according to TMZ, um, Antonio Brown is accused of not paying his arena football team players and coaches. Um, I remember that I, I was like a little bit over a month ago, or maybe two months ago, where he was he purchased the actual arena team. Mm-hmm. Um, and as a result of the situation or the accusations, uh, the head coach and the players have quit or, and players, not the players, but, and players have quit, um, including the league's reigning MVP. Uh, Antonio also locked out disgruntled players of hotel rooms by not giving them keys to their room. Um, <laughs> TMZ produced a list. <laughs> of one, two, three, four, five. Who said he let the wrong nigga in that joint? <laughs> eight. Why well, would they name a team, bro? Eight, <laughs> bro. That's what I'm about to get to, too, bro. Like eight names, eight people that he that he gave to the hotel staff and said, "Do not give these guys rooms, room keys." <laughs> <laughs> he blackballed literally, them. <laughs> literally a piece of paper, bro. Um, yeah, these, but yeah, them. Those rumors or or are these facts? Tell him, tell no, him in the bus. 
It's, they, it's, they it's, it's accurate. I mean, they quit. The, the, it's the, the players, some players and the head coach have quit. And um, let me go ahead. I'm pulling up uh, the picture of where is it? What if it's somebody drawing the situation, making the situation bigger than what it is, and somebody just quit because they were sick or something? So here's the they list of players um, that was produced from, from the TMZ story. Hey, uh, that too. Yep, typed it up for the hotel for the hotel staff. I, I don't know how easy or hard or <laughs> difficult it is to see, but That's yeah, he got crazy. a list of people up there and things like that. So, fellas, would you would you would you ever consider working under Antonio un, under Antonio Brown? Like, man, like if you were an athlete, happy, man. he's too unstable, bro. There's no way I would be able to feel comfortable trusting Antonio Brown to do what I think he's going to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he seemed like a cool dude personally, like if you were his friend, maybe. But when it comes to business <laughs> and taking things seriously, and you know, this is people's livelihood at this point. Coaches, yeah. players, like, they trying to make a future out of this, and you you locked them out of their hotel rooms. Like, yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I I know I'm laughing, but I'm I'm also very serious. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how AB is even in position to be able to, to purchase a team. Like, I don't even know how how they that, even allow. And that's my that's that's my thing, bro. Like, why how, would they how, let him? Why would they let him purchase a team if they didn't think he would be able to uh, like like subscribe to that? You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like do it at a at, a, at get their approved? level at their level. That's, that's what I'm saying. Bro. And that that's that's what makes me not want to respond to like <laughs> if this is true. Like, I need to know if this is true. Like. Anybody yeah, could have typed yeah. that. You feel me? I don't know. I don't know if they're just trying well, to paint a bad light. I know the media can control what we see, but I'm not saying that he wouldn't do it because he's the same person who said, uh, "What do he say?" James Harrison gave me CCE or something like that. Like, yeah, that's what he said. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm well, saying? Like, let's be clear. Person. Like that, I, I, I think that I don't think that the letter was fake. Given mm-hmm. that, only, only given that players and and head coach have quit. Like, if. Like I think that's the the paper trail is is showing that people like and, and on top of that think about this think about Antonio Antonio Brown's retaliation against NFL people like right. he's bammed mm-hmm. on Tom Brady post like by posting his wife bro like and whatever innocuous photos or stuff like that um oh, I like now that granted word, I like that word cuz quick like mid I, game like bro. Oh, oh, there, bro. Oh, 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 hold on hold on hold on what's 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 innocuous innocuous bro um no 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 I got a word for it so, somewhat vague and, and, and left open for interpretation I'm saying okay. now let me google it and make sure that I'm right because if I use innocuous <laughs> wrong why why he googling innocuous. <laughs> why he googling it I'm gonna just say this bro two things well, I got, it's probably more unsuspecting two. there I'm you go start with two Okay. Everybody don't need money. Everybody don't need power. Antonio Brown, one of those people, bro. Well, I guess you can get out of money, but I feel like now that he got money, it just he probably just off the chain. But my it's just man, amplified now. Yeah, my man quit mid game. He went to he went, he got crowd therapy on purpose and left his feet in that jump so he wouldn't have to practice. Anybody who get frostbite on purpose on their feet in Vegas, you think it was on purpose? It's out of control. Nick, did you watch this interview with a million dollar worth of game? Oh, that's where I was headed. Um did you, did you watch that, bro? Because he shed light on the on the on like some of those situations as well. Yeah, which I, I w- never which I never got a perspective from. And then yeah, I was about about say, that's where I understand the Tom Brady joke. He talked so about like, the Tom Brady joke, the Tom Brady situation. But I was about to say, like the the, the way he responded is like it, it it reflects how he handled the the AFL staff. And, yeah, and like the way he retaliates in certain certain instances, it wasn't just him. Like, uh, 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 um, you mentioned him quitting on his team. Uh, he tried to find his way out of Pittsburgh, and he he was successful. Um, Thomas said, "All right, we're at, we done with you, moving on." And then Tampa, uh, he told him like he was hurt, but his response to, you know, not you know. Being able to play or whatever, however they however they reacted was him walking off the field and taking off his shirt and taking off his uniform and stuff like that. So did like, he did he talk about Oakland his time in uh Oakland at all? I don't think so. Mm-hmm. Not mm-hmm. Oakland. No, he, he, didn't skip, he skipped over that. He like I did yeah. that. So I yeah, I'm about to say, bro. Yeah. He's I wild out on them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, he speak on that shit. Um, um, but they they just shed they just shed a light on things we wouldn't think about. 
that's happening in the background that we don't get a chance to like hear or see. It's worth it for those listening through and those watching. It's go ahead and take a look at the million dollars worth of game <laughs> uh, interview with AB because he uh, he talks about a lot of things, and I think it's good to hear his perspective. Uh, mm-hmm. It's up to you if you believe him or not, but. And to be honest with you, I do believe him because he was coming, he was chilling. He was he wasn't like amped up. He wasn't, he had no motivation to, to lie. Um, but yeah. Sure. And and the pool video, you I ain't gonna describe what happened in that jump, but with the lady in the pool. Oh, yeah, no, that was out, wild. Yeah. My man he posted be, that. Yeah. What's the month? He posted it. Come on, bro. My man butterball in the pool, bro. <laughs> Skinny dip in broad daylight. This don't care. Right. Oh, I'm thinking the really. two different zones. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That one. I'm thinking that's, the two different zones, bro. He was in the pool on two different occasions. That's the owner of your team. Doing <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> How did he get approved, bro? That's what I'm oh, saying, bro. There's no he way. Probably, oh, he like, probably overpaid for the team. When he said, I'll give y'all an extra $500 for the month. He said, he'll take them. They suck anyway, <laughs> they, probably so. just, they, they was probably just cool because it was his dad. It was his yeah, dad. His dad. His dad. His dad. Legacy, bro. Who I don't know how much arena football teams make, but I'm pretty sure anybody's gonna give up a team just because oh your dad played for this. I'm gonna give you the team. Hey, what if his dad know, wasn't bro. that good? They his probably thought it was no, his, no, I think his dad was a dog. His dad, yeah, his dad was the yeah, best player in, yeah. in, in in AFL history from a core receiver. I, I don't care who it is, bro. I'm not finna give up my check because your saying. dad played for me. That's the I'm just saying. That is um okay. Uh, next up, before we get to the draft, one more topic. I don't know if y'all ever seen this, and maybe because this one just dawned on me. I was like, I figured we stab, take a stab at it. Um, have y'all seen the conversation about the bus driver dating situation? I heard. I, I saw all? with Ebony. I, I saw like basically. Ebony K. I, I know what she's talking about. I saw the little. I think I saw the clip, the little thirty second clip or something. She's so I'll give it the owner. So yeah, 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 yeah. So. Um, Ebony K. Williams, man, successful attorney. Uh, I don't know too much about like everything that she's done to this point. Uh, I I know of her, uh, at least well enough to speak on this conversation because of like her appearances on the Breakfast Club, and I listen to the Breakfast Club all the time. They have her on all the time. Uh, back to the point, she was doing an interview with. Um, let me go ahead and pull it up. She was doing an interview with. Uh oh my goodness, what is her name? Cause she's she's really she's really cool. Um, dang, Gail King. Say no, no. I'm about to steal you, bro. Cause they 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 same age. Um, but anyway, she was doing an interview, and I'm I'm sorry to the person because she real cool. Uh, I respect her, but she was like, you know, would you date a bus driver? The the lady, the interviewer asked her, and Ebony responded, if he owns the bus, and she that's all she said in that specific specific interview, and then. That specific clip, that's all she said. Uh, he has to own the bus. And, um, you know, Twitter took off. Uh, social media took off. Uh, and it kind of seemed a little weird, right? So she responded to all the criticism that she got. And the response, I'll leave it up to you all about, you know, how she responded. And it's going to be a little lengthy, so I'll probably just cut it off in a, in a decent amount of time. But uh, here we go comments posted on social, I only saw a handful that even considered the possibility of a bus owner being a more aspirational position and recognizing that I am actually speaking and pouring into the ascension of black men when I said what I said. But see, no, some of y'all were too busy naming and shaming me personally and black women in general as undesirable gold diggers and much worse. Now, I suspect that some of y'all are the same men that were bringing home C's and D's on your report cards. Mm-hmm. Oh, coddled by parents that said, well, that's okay, as long as you're doing your best. Well, listen, I love and believe in the excellence of black men. So no, my dear, C's and D's or any other form of mediocrity is not okay. No, I will not create a soft place for you or anybody that I love to fall comfortably into the bigotry of low expectations. So I'm going to say one more time, there's absolutely nothing wrong with driving a bus. My mother, Gloria, drove one for years. But could it be that Black America has been sold a narrative of average, regular, and typical being good enough for us? 
Mm. Well, see, that's called white supremacy. And in this case, it takes the form of conditioning black Americans to happily accept being a permanent American underclass. Mm. So I'm gonna stop it there. Um, she had about 15 more seconds of that. Uh, I don't think we need to hear that. But that's what she said. I got thoughts. I'll get the floor to you all first. Um, she ain't say nothing wrong. Not a damn thing wrong, bro. It's this my thing. And whoever's a bus driver, it's cool to be a bus driver. But it's also cool to have standards for your life, bro. If she mm-hmm. don't want to date a bus driver, it's her preference. Mm-hmm. If I want to date a stripper, it's my preference, bro. Like, it doesn't matter, like, granted, and what she said at the end, I don't know about the season D's part. I was like, look, bro, everybody gets season D's here now. And then. Right. <laughs> but that's, you said that's, that's why I want season D's. I that's got season wanna, D's, baby. I ain't no bus driver. Yeah, that's where I want to emphasize. That's where I want to emphasize the point, though. Like, how you gonna tell? Like, the the whole thing is like the preference is cool. We understand the preference, right? But the preference in in saying that you want to date somebody who isn't who owns things or who has a certain lifestyle that matches your lifestyle is one thing. But when you say that, like, you're not trying to, you're not you're not trying to date somebody who's mediocre. Like describing describing a livelihood as mediocre is is one thing. One of the person who the interviewer right who initially asked the question, one of one of her responses was, um, when when Ebony said if he owns the bus, her response was like that's flawed within itself because what if the bus driver actually truly loves what he what what he loves doing? Like what if he loves driving the bus? What if he takes care of his family? What if he takes care of his mother? What if he loves his mother? What if he uh, is a, a respectable man? What if he is a man of integrity? All these other things. Like, and that's a, those are quality traits as opposed to um, what the person does for a living. And again, you don't have to date a, first of all, there's people out here in DC who are, who's making a hundred six figures driving a bus, like public, public transportation. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's, that's perspective. And, and, and when people think of, people who do like public service or or like what's i think blue collar is the word blue collar jobs um mm-hmm. when when they have those type of jobs that that helps helps everybody lives tremendously better because they're <laughs> doing something that other people like 90% Won't of the do. world don't yeah. want to do like mm-hmm. how do you call that mediocre or how do you call that uh, a average person and and that's kind of where I was like Nick, I don't think you're wrong with preferences like I don't even disagree with Ebony if her preference is to date the owner of the bus company. But at the same time, I'm looking at this situation like, um, Brad, like there is, there is no way that you look at these people and, and sit here and believe that everything about them is mediocre. Like yeah. you don't, well, you, you haven't even talked to these people yet. You don't even have an understanding of these people. And like, you don't even know, like they may enhance your lives in ways that you never even thought of. Mm-hmm. It's just, a, it's just, this is just a, a classic case of somebody trying to defend themselves using poor choice of words. So White she feels, supremacy, bro. I was so what the hell does that mean? It, 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 it's just her being amped up over the comments. She she probably read all as many comments as she can read. She was amped up before she replied before she responded to whatever the accusation was according to, you know, what she had to say about the bus shop. Like like Nick said, I, I don't necessarily have a problem with, with her preference because like you said everybody got their preference but to call somebody's lifestyle mediocre that that definitely just you know that 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 puts a pause on a lot of things because the people who, like you say make good money driving buses so you know i mean you i don't have to own the bus in order to make good money either you know what i'm saying so you gotta think about those types of things where you start calling people's jobs and livelihoods mediocre she and the white, I, I still don't understand the supreme, the white supremacy comment. But she was saying yeah. that um, she should have, she should have stopped that. She saying we accept uh, mediocrity, be, media, whatever that word is. I can't even say it right now. But we accept it. We accept that because um, we're conditioned by white supremacy to accept, like, oh, I guess we're coddled to be okay with having season D's. What's funny is though, a lot of self-made millionaires got season D's in in school because. They, and a lot of people that work these jobs um, are good in school, and they tra- that transfers over to them going to these random nine to fives that they just excel in. So, uh, I, don't, I mean, hey, look, I, do you I think, think my, yeah, but 
Everybody don't need to be on TV. Or have a microphone in their face. Yeah, and I think we need to ha- we need to have less podcasts and less TV shows. <laughs> It's social media <laughs> in general. Man, that ain't going to change. It's there because yeah. that's, 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 that's their platforms. You know, everybody got a platform nowadays. I think my overall theme is, is is this, like, do what you want, but at the end of the day, like, you can't, de- you you are incapable of defining what true mediocrity is, like, exactly. unless you know that person. You should have stopped that mediocrity. mediocrity. Yeah, like, that's all that. it is. Like, like it's, it's flat it's out bad. disrespecting, like, people out there, like, and, and without like having to do it like people talk about all the time um uh, uh, uh i'm not i'm not finna date no more black men or i'm not finna date no more black women and, and it's like i'm just gonna stick with another like you don't have to announce that you don't have to talk about it leave it leave it out leave it out like and that's kind of where i'm where i'm at it's, it's a classic case of that and for her to be an attorney that's the only reason why i thought it was worth bringing up for her to bring it bring, bring, be a successful attorney and bring in and, and Bring that statement to a to a goddamn camera and say it like that, bro. Like that has to be one of the worst prepared statements I have ever heard from a person who does this stuff for a living. Do you know if she bad, has her bro. own firm or does she work with somebody else? That's a good question. Um, you mean I if you don't know, it's cool. But that's, a, that's yeah, a I don't know, question. and I ain't gonna lie to you, it ain't for, it ain't worth looking it up. <laughs> uh, any last thought nah, on this, bro? That, that, that would be a funny ass. Uh... A funny look up though, Nick. Because if she didn't, it's like if she worked for somebody else. Like, you, you, you only work for somebody else. <laughs> Need yeah. your yeah. ass. If you was good, you had your own practice. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. <laughs> All right, man. Moving on. Moving on. Um, Dallas and Tennessee, bro. Um, you see the title of this jump, <laughs> uh, right? Titans take QB Will Goat Levis, mm. and Ryan loves it. Yeah, Ryan had a Ryan had a miserable weekend. If y'all didn't know already by the title, um, he was he was he, praying at the airport that day. He was praying. He was praying. He was showing me Malik, was showing me Malik Hooker started. highlights or Malik yeah. uh, Hendon Hooker highlights, bro. Yeah, he like, he like this is what we're gonna get. get him. First of all, first where, where, where did Hendon Hooker go? He went to Detroit. Uh, he, yeah, mm. there you go. Mm. Um, I can't wait for the NFL to start. Let me let me try to give you some context on the Will Levis pick, right? So. Been the reason, let me just say that I I would have liked to have taken a quarterback in this draft. I'm gonna start by saying that, right? But the whole time going in, we have a lot of needs that we had to address, right? My personal opinion, the biggest need that we needed to address was wide receiver, because at the t- at at this current stage, even now, even after the draft has taken place, we are still lacking in, in the wide receiver position. Right. Tell them, tell them who in the room, right? Tell them who in the room. It doesn't really matter. So listen, um coming to, coming into the draft, the only thing I wanted, if we if we were going to a quarterback, I would have preferred us to have traded up to three and potentially have taken whether it may have been CJ Stroud or Bryce Young, either or, but you know, the, the word around town was potentially maybe CJ Stroud, maybe Houston was not going to take CJ Stroud, right? Because it's something we, we, we kind of talked about a little bit um, on our last show with all the negativity surrounding, you know, him not coming to the, the Manning, you know, all that stuff mm-hmm. from um, from Quinn, right, Brady Quinn. So my personal experience, I mean, excuse me, not experience, my personal preference was that if none of them were there, we need to go wide receiver at 11 and don't worry about nothing else. We ended up taking uh, Peter Skaronski out of Northwestern play tackle, but he could play guard. I, you know, I wasn't really, you know, anytime you draft the offensive lineman, it's not really like, for a fan, drafting the offensive lineman on draft day is not, not a ideal. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, boring. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, whatever. Like, I waited all this time. I was so geeked and we took a, we took a, we took a guard. But whatever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm pretty sure he'll be a good player for us because we needed a guard regardless. It was a position of need. Now, I didn't really do a whole lot of tape watching when it came to Will Levis. I only watched a little bit, and to be honest, I didn't really care much for him. I thought he had, like, a talented arm. But you know how, how some of these quarterbacks are, Zach Wilson being one of them, that com- the first one that comes to mind, arm talent and doesn't really produce in the league. But with backside of Will Levis, he's also 6'3", he has size to him, and, you know, kind of different prototype of quarterback than, than Zach Wilson. But as a fan, bro, 
of the team, you ain't got no choice but to live with the decisions they have made. So now I have exactly what I said. Like, I'm, I'm, I have no choice but to watch all this tape. I've been watching so much Will Levis tape. I don't watch every game he played in college already. Watch every single time. Watch every one. As much as tape as I can watch. And, you know, I'm optimistic at the same time, but I'm not about to put too much stock into it. There it is. I'm not about to because we still got Tannehill on the roster. There it is. Stop, bro. Just stop, please. I'm begging you, please. There it is. Bro. Where what? There's what, bro? Where, what? There's what, bro? What am I supposed to do? What? Well, what am I supposed to do, bro? What? Am, what am I supposed to do? He's on the team, Rick. He's on hey, the squad. I was waiting for you to say you was optimistic, bro. Optimistic doesn't mean I got faith. You do got faith. What is what? It's the same thing, bro. Let me go ahead and Google the word. Let's see if, let's see you, if we know what optimistic means. Optimistic. Come on, bro. A positive uh, Optimistic mindset, bro. means positive mindset, hope, bro. It's the same thing. hopeful, positive hopeful mindset, and bro. confident about the future. Come on, bro. That's faith, bro. That's faith, bro. Faith without work. What is it, Nick? Talk to him. Preaching it. On, yeah, I don't, don't want to give him too much, bro. I don't want to give him too much. Bro. If you, but here's the, the my bottom line. If I had to have a quarterback, whether it be Richardson or Levis, it's easily Levis, in my opinion. But go ahead. Okay. Okay. How you feel about them quarterbacks coming to you? Wait, hold on, bro. You said you said no Richardson or no Levis. Now, now you. No, now no you, I'm talking about if I had to pick between the two. You didn't want either. Two. I didn't. I, but I, I explained why because I feel like there were other positions that we need. We still the whole hey, drive did ball. We did not take a receiver to round seven. Yeah, I had other yeah. pressing needs, bro. That was actually a little weird. They believe no. in Tandy, Brian Will, bro. What you mean? Who are your receivers right now? Let me look up the Titans. Don't look them up, Ma. No, nah, because he about to he about to act like they're not good, bro. Come on, Ra. Don't be disrespectful to the mob. You just want a better team, bro. You can't have Calvin Johnson and Randy okay. Moss. Run the names off, Ma, for for it. I got off. you, bro. I got you. Here we and go. I'm gonna tell you if they. I'm gonna tell you if they're good. Traylon Burks. Traylon Burks. Trey Come on, bro. Nick. Come on, bro. What's the nickname, Nick? Trey Beasy. Nick Eichenheim Westbrook. Hold on, hold on. I can hide. Hold that on. my Kyle number two, Rick. That my number two right there. Yeah. That, you might as well put me out that there, That my Ryan. number two. Go ahead, Ma. Hey, right. Come on, buddy. Hey, right. Kyle, Kyle Phillips. Kyle Phillips. Who is he, Rick? Chris Moore. Yeah. Who? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Who? Chris. Chris. Chris who? Chris Moore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know who his tight ends are, Rick? Mm. So, no. Mm. Yeah, well, you know who the tight end is. You know who to say first. Who? Whoa, whoa. Chico nah, nah, Conquo. Chico, nah, he, right. Chico, Chico Conquo. He, 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 right. he let all tight ends. He let all rookie tight ends and receive. He all right. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to say straight. he all right. He's straight. Conquo. He's straight. Oh, he forgot about the other tight end though. Keep going. And then Hassan Haskins. That's they. That's they receiving. That's they receiving back. Hassan Haskins is a running back. From uh, Tajay Michigan? Spears is a yeah. Cause tough. Hassan yeah, Hassan yeah. Haskins. Yeah, he is all right. I seen his tape. Certain has is probably won't make the team. Cause <laughs> tough though, bro. Well, I need tough. somebody back there. We, hey, Ryan, why don't you just tell him, Ryan? You see what this is, bro? What? Just make the call, bro. I'm ready. I've been, I've been, I've been, right now. I've been training. Be, there, there better be a plan. Hmm? Okay, so let's go ahead and do like an unofficial grade because, granted, I said this. Uh, I want to prep, not granted, but preface this with saying these grades aren't <laughs> real. Not yes, we're not gonna count, we're gonna count no draft grades at right after the drafts or anything like that. But matter of fact, let's let's flip it because I, I did it on the other show on the, on the commander's side. Let's do it this way. Um uh your overall thought of the draft. Like if you had to give one word, right, and I'm gonna do the same thing for y'all, Nick and Rick. Uh, one word to describe your feeling of the draft. Uh, what would that one word be to describe your draft for the Titans? For the Titans. Yeah, I can go first. No, no, no. I'm saying, I'm saying for Rye. I'm saying, I'm gonna ask y'all about Dallas. Saying, yeah, yeah, no, I, I'm good. saying, I can, I can go for Rye. Um, <laughs> <laughs> A one word <laughs> to describe overconfidence. Cut the TV off. <laughs> Cut the TV off. Um, uh, underwhelming. Uh, that's a good word, bro. But I mean, not, I, I wouldn't even call it underwhelming because, like I said, we we've addressed some needs. So I would call it unsplashy. 
Moderate. Oh. Unsplashy. Unsplashy. Okay. Moderate. Um, any other things on the draft ride right, that you wanted to see happen, or did you? I mean, obviously receivers, you mentioned that, but anything in terms of what you wanted to see happen, what you like, what you didn't like, um, what the coaches had to say, what the staff had to say, or anything like that that caught your attention? What's going um, on with you, not necessarily. I mean, the picks that we got, I mean, we got Tyson Spears on two lane. I think it's a good back, but they feel like his knee is not going to hold up. A lot of people really feel like um, he would have been a much higher pick had it not been for the knee injury. People don't think he'll play more than five seasons. They, they like that serious when it comes to how serious it feels his knee is. But, um, I mean, it's a position to need to help Derrick Henry as far as, you know, take some load off of him. But, I mean, other than that, I don't really <laughs> feel like I feel like I just feel like we should have took a receiver earlier than what we took him. That's all. Okay. Dallas. Ralph, I mean, uh, Nick, Rick, um, I'm going to give y'all the floor. Knowing y'all, y'all got five minutes. Hey, bro, you got y'all can go, y'all go for 20. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, bro. Y'all go got the floor. Ahead. I ain't saying, I ain't saying ahead, a word. Bro. Y'all go ahead. Do y'all All right, I'm – Real quick, bro. Uh, shout out to Big Mozzie. Um, yeah. <laughs> to be honest, at, at the the three days of draft day, I was like, bro, what the hell we doing? He like, who is Mozzie? <laughs> <laughs> but after looking at, did y'all see the clip um, I sent y'all about y'all war room with y'all war room? Yeah, bro. Yeah, you yeah, see, yeah, you yeah, see me in the back. Yeah, I about to say we was there, bro. He said you see me in the back. Y'all were there. I was on the side where the camera was at. I was looking at the cameraman camera yeah. when they was. Going I was looking phone. directly Jordan. at Will McClay, bro. I said, "Yeah, if I say Nick had the uh, Nick had the papers, but Nick had dropped his papers on the floor." And then yeah, that's when uh, the but to be that. honest, bro, I was a little. Um, at first, I was like, "Bro, what the hell are we doing?" Um, but then I realized this the stuff that I wanted, we ain't really need. I just want them because I like the players. Uh, but we addressed. Y'all ain't um, need a running back. Nope. You sure? No, come on, come on. Hey, Rob, we, we got that out of control, bro. I told nah, you. Nah, because look, so to be honest, I feel I, I really do like Malik Davis. I think Kerr is straight. Um, I don't think Ronald Jones makes the team for real. Um, so I feel I feel like if we get Malik and uh, I bet you Ronald Jones make the team. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if he make the team. I wouldn't well, be surprised he, at he all. He's gonna be running back number three. As long as he's not getting Malik carries, I'm cool with that. So I'm cool with a, a backfield of Malik and TP. Um Michael Gallup, he's going to have to show me something. Oh, he's going to show it to you this year. Watch my boy, right? <laughs> hey, right, I'm getting my, I'm getting my 13 this year. <laughs> if I'm getting you my 13 me, this year. I'm telling, one. You, I'm telling you, bro. One, one, CD, that, CD that man. I mean, not CD. Gallup that man. Gallup that man. I'm not taking nothing from CD because CD, he a dog. CD about to turn up this year for sure. But Gallup, bro, he going to be healthy this year, fool. Do you remember what he did his rookie year? No. That was a couple years ago. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. I'm um, just, no, Gallup, just... Gallup, Gallup, cool though. Gallup, I ain't I'm just saying, bro. Cool. Um, but yeah, though, like I, I'm cool with our, I'm cool with the picks we got. Uh, after looking at Shoemaker, uh, tape a little bit, he's gonna be all right. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna be he's gonna be all right. Yeah, nah, he's gonna be straight. He like a younger, thinner, uh, Jason Witten. He like a nah. He like a he like a younger Dalton Schultz. He he gonna run the same thing. He might be a little faster than Dalton, um, but he definitely like a little Dalton. And then you know uh, what he I, ran? Shoemaker. Uh, four six three. You know what I'm saying six five two two fifty four six three. I don't know. I thought he was four seven. Four six three. No, he definitely ran four six three. Come on, bro. It's too detailed to be like you know what I'm saying. I love the four seven, bro. But uh, yeah, bro. I feel like I feel like we're gonna be Gucci. Um. It all it all come down to number four. And but I, I do the Mozzie pick, I was a little blown about it because we had Mike Mayer right there. Um there's a couple people right there actually. But we ain't take them. Yeah, I, I seen a little video. The and video they wasn't was, even discussing him. They was discussing the trenches regardless. They weren't even thinking yeah, about so that's how they, they was trying to go to trenches. I'm glad we went D-line. Because honestly, though, bro, we we need a D lineman. I mean, we need a D tackle. Y'all That's need a run stopper. Y'all ain't got no run stop. Well, y'all do. I like the one dude that I be telling y'all about. But oh, uh, Ozzy Zoo. Ladamore. Yeah, Ozzy he, he be nah. Ozzy Zoo. He talking about Ozzy. Yeah, he talking about yeah. He yeah, Gallimore, He be hurt too much, bro. He he a good rotation yeah, that, player. Yeah, um, yeah, bro. Hey, so, yeah, he hurt. 
Yeah, What's funny is though, I know is well, I, got, I don't know they married yet, but I know his fiance. Uh, she cool. Um, but yeah, but I feel like yeah, don't, say my, that, don't say that again. I said, watch your mouth, bro. I know the girl, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but um, besides that point, bro, uh, Mozzie, if he can do what he did in Michigan and free up people like Aiden Hutchinson and get them boys paid, um, he do the same thing with Micah. You my guy, bro. Yeah, one cool. gap guy. What y'all running? Y'all running one or two gaps? Four three, okay. bro. Four three. You running four three? Yeah, I'm saying, is it a well? Okay, I'm gonna assume one gap. Yeah, we don't. Uh, we we. Hey, this is your this you this you. Get to the quarterback. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what we run right but there. Mine's not about to get to the quarterback. He only had one well, sack. No, we don't. But the thing is, I don't need him is, to get to the quarterback. I need him to command a double team. That's what bro. you just said, though. Get to the quarterback. I, no, I said push the pocket, and you know what I'm saying. Get my, nah. help, Michael, bro. That's all I, I need. What, saying, what just bull? Just 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 driving back. That's all I need you to do. This is my. Thing, I heard bro. Parsons playing full time DN now. That's no, that's not that's not stand. That's not that's stand. That's impossible. That's not that's not stand. That what I heard. Did we hear from the same source, right? I think okay. He just said he's balking up, so when he plays, so he can play more reps at DN. He's okay, not just like playing full. He he's just not a full time DN. No. Yeah, sounding like yeah. Hey, hey, Boston's hey. still gonna be all hey, over the line. Hey, we got from Texas though, Overshone. Who? Oh, Demarvian. Marvian Overshone, number zero. Yeah. Only thing I don't like about Cuz is he he got uh eighty thousand wristbands on his own. Um, oh yeah, he do. <laughs> oh, hey, no, nah, he be he be flat though. He be flat though. Got the I'll orange like, sleeve. I be like, bro, that it, bro. Besides that though, Cuz gonna be straight. Him and him and nah, he, him and Michael on the field. Man, Will McClay, Will McClay, and uh, Dan Quinn, bro, was heavily influenced, and I see it in the players that we drafting, bro. Like we we real like Dallas is drafting. I have to start by saying, like, I have this you is the happiest I've been. Though. This is the happiest I've been during the offseason for Dallas. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm I I feel good, bro, because we addressed a lot of things that we did. We brought back a lot of people that we needed to bring back. And um, and then in this draft, bro, like I didn't know who Mozzie was. I honestly, you know, I don't even know who a lot of these players are sometimes until they get close to draft time, because that's when I'm, you know, watching tape and something like that. But um, like, you know, when the Mozzie pick came, I was Rod told me it was once that boy had one sack. I said, "Hold, pimp, I'm gonna have to watch that tape." <laughs> <laughs> so I got no comeback for that one. But then I, I was, I started to think like that. I started to see the rest of the players that we were drafting. I'm just like, damn, we are, we are like, we're getting this raw talent, bro, and we're molding these players. Like Mozzie, he, 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 we, they say he's probably one of the strongest D tackles in the in the draft. Um, and uh, he's, he, I mean, he got, he got speed, bro. Um, uh, as far as like you know, moving and getting, and uh, you know. Uh, taking double teams and shit like that, but um, we drafting these players, bro, who who bring a specific, who have a certain trait, and it ties into what Dan Quinn is is pushing through this defense, bro. Um, the Overshawn joint that uh, Nick was talking about earlier, bro, and then um, the Deuce Vaughn pick. I, I think that was one of the. I that was the one that pick. blew me, bro. Yeah, it it did it did blow me. I seen it coming. That don't uh, blew me, bro. I seen it coming a, l- a little. Why bit, I blow you, bro? I would say yeah. Why I blow you? That's a good pick. It's talking to you, Rick. It's talking to you, Rick. Oh, what you say? I thought you said right, boy. I was confused just now. What'd you say? He was saying, why Why did it blow you? I didn't say Deuce Vaughn pick blew me. You did. I, yeah, I was about to say. Just Maybe you didn't mean to say it, but yeah, I was I was saying I was saying it. Oh no, I was oh no, I was saying I was I was I was, saying, I, I, was, I, was, I, was no, I was saying I like the I said I, I felt like I kind of seen the uh, Deuce Vaughn pick a little bit because his father played in the um when they was talking about the ties between that's why it was cool um, too because they let him call him bro and yeah and I, initiated I, I, John, I like bro, that. had that John on camera bro that that's Jerry Jones cool. though that's Jerry Jones for you you feel me hey, the to work with me tomorrow man yeah. Yeah, no, nah, for real. That's marketing, though, bro. That's what that. This that's look, man. That's what Jerry. That's what Jerry believes. I don't care about marketing, bro. But I like the pick, though. I really like the pick, bro. bro. And I and I'm I'm seeing what we're doing, mm-hmm. man. Even with the uh the Asim, what's his name, Asim Richards. Even with that pick, raw talent, bro. I was watching his tapes. He he, he definitely he play? uh he played he offers the tackle. Oh well, oh yeah, so talking about talk about talk about potentially trying to get him to play some guard and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, he gonna mean, guard. Yeah. People, people were saying Tyler Smith was a uh, was Tyler Smith wasn't gonna be good when we got him, bro. That's, That's all I'm saying. Said. You feel me? Said. And Dallas, Dallas, if it's one thing they could do is they could draft, bro. So I'm, I'm all in all, I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy with the picks we got. Oh, Nick, right. undrafted free agent, bro. Well, North Dakota State. Five minutes is up. Forty-four. Forty-four. 
Boy, I can't. Boy, if he do anything like I think he about to do, he about to be a problem, bro. He gonna be the next. Uh, he about uh, to be a problem, bro. From San Francisco. Your five minutes is up, bro. I'm you telling you, bro. I'm go. telling What's you, bro. You check, boy. Huh? You can check. You can. You can check. You can check. You. Yeah. He the next yeah. one. He next up. Best full back. But nah, nah, nah. All right, one be dog, dog. One word to describe y'all feeling of the drag, bro. Rick, are you gonna stick with Happy? Yeah, I'm gonna stick with Happy. Did hey, bro? Did the Packers have a vicious fullback at a point in time? Yeah, John Coon. John Coon, thirty. Big Coon, that's what they call him. <laughs> that is always blow me, bro. <laughs> Nigga, they carry Coon. Yeah, yep, they did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they did, bro. But hey, oh, watch out for him, bro. If he good, oh, it's gonna be a problem, bro. He gonna be I drafted the fullback. Right. If he if he uh, he a uh, running uh, he, uh, he, he, he John like a running back, bro. I never seen him line up at fullback in none of his play, none of his tapes. Well, he, but he uh, he's gonna, he gonna be he a, a problem, bro. Man. Go look my man yeah, up. What's your what's your word? Um, my word for our draft is uh necessities. We drafted what we needed, and that was it. Nothing splashy. We said we need the trenches. Mm -hmm. We need the linebacker. Yeah, need speed on defense. Yeah, that's what it is, bro. Talk to him, Nick. We did everything we need to do, bro. You know what I'm saying huh? I'm we not need... even mad at it. I'm not mad at we the one sack, bro. Because we just need we just need some. First up, my man had my man had three sacks, and Jalen Carter, Mister Best Person in Draft, only had six. Mm. Smell like nine and eight. <laughs> who the, who the, who the Titans? Uh, we gonna have a better record than y'all, right? That's a fact. A fact. That's a fact. For sure. Bro, I'll put a thousand dollars on that job right now. I put it. I put it. I got I got Who do y'all think? Who y'all about to go seven and seven What's and, his name? Saying, What's his name? Like, I, first of all, be, Chris be Moore. Like, huh? Chris Moore. Chris Moore. Come on, first man. of all, y'all can say what you like. We find ways to win all the time. Like, I mean, that's just that I'm not really worried about that. We still got the defense attack. But y'all so, were talking like y'all guaranteed to do some some things. No, I said our record gonna be better than y'all. I said our record gonna be better than y'all. That is, that's not saying. But y'all talk about a thousand. Y'all are stupid for that. I didn't say a thousand. So here I we definitely go. better hundred. Mm. Unless y'all have money, I'm a pose. Y'all have no receivers. <laughs> mm. There ain't no receivers out there to get. But do you understand? We had no receivers when he was number one. See, all we have is AJ Brown. Come on, but that's a receiver. I that's one. And Trey Trey Lyle, that's all you still got one. Traylon, Traylon, not AJ though. Hey, bro, I could care less what you think about AJ Brown or the roster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, I'm a, I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna start with Dallas. Um, biggest needs remaining on the roster, according to Sports Illustrated, uh, Gilbert Manzano and Matt Verde, Ver, Verderami. I uh, probably just butchered his last name. Sorry, sir. Um, anyway, biggest needs. Do you agree with this? Tight end, left guard, defensive tackle? Left guard, yes. Um, left exactly. guard, no. Yes, because we don't know. Well, huh? We don't have a left guard right now, Nick. Tyler Smith is back at left guard. They didn't stamp he was back at left guard yet, bro. And because because Tyron, we don't even know what's going on with Tyron, bro. If Tyron and, gets hurt, the game, he'll bump out. But we already got a left guard. And then we just got a D tackle. We just got a tight end. Well, all I'm gonna say is, if if that's the case, then cool. But I do think that Time you know, if 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 Tyron is not, huh? They said that our post draft needs are everything we drafted. It was everything that we needed drafted. We is, also talking about bringing him to left guard. Here's his last. Team. Here's their ex, ex, explanation. Okay. Um, the Cowboys are counting on tight end duo Jake Ferguson and Luke Shoemaker. Um, <laughs> Jake Ferguson, who had 19 catches last season. And I like um, that. that might not be enough to replicate the production of Dawson Schultz, who joined the Texans in free agency. You Chuma Adoga, who has started one game the past two seasons, might be the front runner for the starting vacancy at left guard. Dallas might have reached uh, for defensive tackle Mozzie Smith in the first round, but it needed help in the interior. He can still use another veteran at the position. So tight end, I don't think – I think we addressed our needs. I don't agree on that issue. I think our tight ends is, okay. is cool. I like Ferguson. Um, I, I do think if we give them – if we do give – we if we give them chance, uh, they'll be able to produce what Dalton Schultz did. But I went to watch Dalton Schultz – I would watch Dalton Schultz tape earlier today, bro. He literally was just running curl routes and out routes, bro. 
you know what I'm saying, find the holes. I get it can't be difficult, bro, but he he wasn't doing a lot, so I don't know why they're trying to make it seem like there's this big load of yardage or production that we need to replace with Don Schultz. It's not going to be that difficult, bro. We got the receivers to do it. Left guard, I do think so, but if we got Tyron starting at left tackle and Tyler at left guard, then I'm not tripping about left guard, you know, but I don't know if that's the case right now. D tackle, if Mozzie is not what we think he is, we're stuck with OZ again. I mean, OD, OD, so... Um, I mean, I guess I agree there. Is I agree there? Okay. All right. yeah. Um, all right. So Tennessee, right? Do you agree? Offensive tackle, uh, linebacker, and um, quarterback. But they stupid. But they ain't say receiver. It's like, What's wrong? I'm playing. I did that. On <laughs> I, I wanted. To, I, I was waiting. To, I was waiting to see it, how how fast Ryan was going to react. But now, what? offensive tackle, wide receiver, and linebacker. First of all, no, I'm not worried about the tackle because we got we got two tackles. We just signed Andre Dillard to a contract from Philly, and we got a right tackle that we drafted last year in the second round. So I don't know why they talk about tackle, and we just drafted another tackle in the first round. But we're gonna swing him the guard. So I don't know why that's the I don't know why receiver need to be the first position and need to be putting bold print. And bold print. Um, well, let's make sure we talk to Gil and let him know, hey, man, next time you do something on the Titans, this is what we need. <laughs> yeah, bro. Um, okay. Come on, Jeff, man. We need a sponsor, bro. Come on. Mess with us. Yeah, come on, Jeff. We, love yeah, we, we, we need a deep, a deep ball receiver. Mm-hmm. I mean, low-key, I, I, I like our roster. Um, I just don't know how these rookies about to play, but so we, we tend to draft well, so Will McClay said right Will McClay Will McClay said he can step in and play right now. Okay. We're gonna see. Um all right, so let's go ahead and ooh. So Nick, um I'm we're gonna close out with this one. Just mm-hmm. just a list of names. So XFL players have been invited to mini camps um and, and tryout invitations. Uh, I figured this is it just came out probably like the last 10, 15 minutes. Uh, so we have. I'm gonna throw out some notable names. It's, I think it's a list of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19 players that doesn't include um the championship team, so DC and Arlington. Mm. Um, we have Hakeem Butler, um, who's currently, State. yeah, yeah I, I would say that was my boy coming into the draft, bro. Like, uh, a effing dog, bro. I where love he, where, his where game. He go? He's going to get a tryout for the Pittsburgh Steelers, and I would mm-hmm. love that fit for him. Um, I can because of their just their play style, their general play style, how they like their big body receivers. Him and um Pickens. Okay. Um, all right. So we have uh your guy, Nick. I don't even gotta say his name. I think you know who I'm talking about. You know my guy, bro. <laughs> Where he go? Denver, bro. He getting a trial with Denver. Oh, he going hey, he gonna take Russell's job, bro. He can compete with Russ. Who? Yeah. Ben Denucci. Ben Denucci. Ben the shitty. <laughs> he gonna take his job. That's a Russ, bro. Beat. Um, but yeah, now nah, Ben Denucci getting a tryout. Um, who else do we have? Some other names. I don't know if you all remember Charleston Rambo. Um, but Charleston, he's cool. Then do much the next league. Yeah, Charleston Rambo. Uh, and then Cam Sutton. Um, tight end. Uh he played with the Vegas team. I, what's going on with um Cam Sutton? Remember the other tight end, bruh? That he was cooking on the one like the one and nine team or one and eight team. Um he played oh, for Orlando. Orlando. Yeah. Don't remember. Because he was a com- he was a he was a Robert receiver convert and went to tight end. That's what Josh um, Gordon should have did. And Kevin Benjamin. Man, what is his name, bro? Kelvin definitely. Um, no, you know who about to get a look though? Um, Abram Smith from DC Defenders. He going to somewhere. He going somewhere for sure. Cody Latimer. That's who it is. Cody oh. Latimer. Yeah. Um, he entered Week Nine, leading the. I think leading. Oh, the, a custom SMU. Cody Latimer. I think with the SMU. Oh, yeah. I about to say, don't tell me you didn't hear me say that. <laughs> but nah, he got 558 yards um heading into the week nine. So I so I guess I don't know how many he had total. 
Let's see. I saw it for a one and nine tight end. Hell yeah. And they receive us up. Yeah, DeAndre, DeAndre Francois from Florida State. Trash. Yeah, 50. He, he finished the uh, season with 50 receptions, 593 yards. How many touchdowns? Um, nine. And that's in nine games, too. I don't know. I can't. It doesn't show how many touchdowns on this thing. Probably had nine. Hey, right, um, you should and go, then uh, Hakeem Butler had 50. The next sex to fail joint. Yeah, you could. I'm just saying, bro. You got arm, bro. And you drop it in the you drop it in the bu- in the bucket, bro. Nah, bro. I ain't got time for that, bro. Bro, <laughs> Ryan, you ain't got time. You ain't got right. You ain't got time right. Fucking ball, bro. You ain't got time to pay. Uh, get paid six figures, bro, to play football. And you and you in shape, job, like, bro. So, bro, I'm not playing quarterback for no team, bro. What's the what's the what's the bro? You could do it, bro. You could you could play you know, quarterback for one of these extra field models, bro. Bro, I'm gonna be doing jump passes. <laughs> nah, I'm 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 on schedule with mine. You know on what schedule chores, right? I'm on schedule. I ain't got one, two, three. To... Let it go. Come on, bro. Let's go. Play, offense, play, bro. I go to my read. You're not there. I'm, I'm one, two, three with it, and, and, and I'm gone. You know I said, I said he gonna be the least sack quarterback. Come on now. Mm. Mm. All right. Well, shout out to them boys. Um, I'm gonna save the other two articles or save the other two topics for. Uh, down the line, uh, it's been a pretty good episode, man. So, we're gonna go ahead and close it on the high note. Shout out to the Mexican field boys, hope they get a good shot in the, in the NFL, man. So, for us, it's gonna wrap it up, man. Uh, I don't know what, what Nick got going on. You riding the motorcycle, bro? Hey, shout yeah, out to yeah. Turpin, bro. He hey, you want to know what's crazy, bro? I, w- I wanted to get a fucking hog motorcycle when I was younger. Then I realized that's just stupid. You gotta keep your hands up like this the whole time. Sounds like anarchy, bro. It's a Only bar, bro. It, it ain't like, yeah. Shout out, shout out to them boys. But they bro. still up and, here, bro. Angelica had one, bro. And you got a ride like this, bro. Nah. You never rode the big wheel, bro. Oh, what's funny is I was, kid. I was like this. People close with short arms motorcycle. can't do it. I like this close oh, to getting a motorcycle, God. like uh. Right, you never got on a big wheel three bro? weeks ago. <laughs> I ain't got no big wheel, bro. When you was little, you ain't had the red car with the uh with the with the the yellow. Oh, with the yeah, with the you the yellow the big wheel, bro, yeah. and the blue jump. I had the big wheel. They had the little red horn on that jump. I'm about to say, come on, bro. All the kids had that. Bro. I didn't know that song was called. A, I think you were talking about the big wheel with the actual big wheel on the front. No, nah, I was talking about that. Right? All right, get us out of here. <laughs> That's gonna wrap it up for the game, man. Y'all just enjoy y'all day, enjoy y'all weekend, enjoy y'all night, enjoy y'all morning, <laughs> all that good stuff. Bye, peace. Damn, set, huh? Watch him throw the ball. We gon' pick it off. You gon' let him hit the hole, or you gon' cut it off. You gon' play through fourth and long, or you gon' punt it off. Your defenders have you hit us, put your pads in. Don't be looking for the ref to throw no flags in. Keep the helmet on, keep the cleats tight. You the type to want to win by any means, right? You should look alive. This is trap or die.